I've been kind of struggling in photography, I would say, these last four years or so. Um, and it's kind of funny because it's sort of in parallel to how my life has changed over the last four years. Prior to 2019, I had the ability to sort of go around the world and do whatever the fuck I wanted. And now, obviously, with two small children, I can't do that anymore. And I think that it's really kind of posed a challenge for me in photography because I think before I was able to sort of go anywhere, see anything, find excitement. And now, you know, I'm really sort of, my life at this moment in time is to serve my children. And I think this whole idea can sort of be distilled down to just the different phases of photography. If you really love photography and if it's something that you want to have in your life for your entire life, you are gonna go through different phases of photography. For me, you know, what does that look like? Well, when I first started in photography in high school, I was making videos with my buddy Dylan. That's what we did for fun. This was way before YouTube. Um, we were handing out DVDs to people in our high school of just goofy little videos that we made. Um, from there, that obviously sparked something inside of me to just love creating and love video and photos and, and kind of this world of creative arts. And after that, I went to university. Um, I started making lacrosse content in university. I played for a lacrosse team and it was just a way, honestly, for me to exercise my creative muscle. Then from there, you know, I moved to South America and I spent four years there and I was living there. I was obviously experiencing this new culture, this new way of life and traveling around a lot. And there's so much to see, everything's new. We all know that feeling when you're a photographer is when something's new and fresh and exciting. It's very easy to make photos. It's very simple um, to enjoy photography because everything you look at is beautiful um, and exciting and interesting and curious. From traveling South America as a photojournalist, I moved back to Canada um, to just kind of set up my life. I'd kind of been a nomad up until that point in my mid-20s. I started a wedding photography business um, and I kind of worked in the travel industry making videos for travel companies. I was doing what I loved and it was so easy because everything was fun and exciting and whatever. And then that just kept going for years. You know, I did a lot of portrait photography, wedding work. I worked with musicians and bands and all kinds of different artists. It just seemed like a very exciting time in my photography journey. I hate the word journey, but photography, life, span, book, chapter. There's no real better word. Maybe it's journey. And then in 2019, I became a dad. And like all dads, I didn't realize what that really meant. If I'm being completely honest, even to this day, I think I struggle sometimes with um, letting go of some of the exciting things of my previous life and uh, embracing the routine. It's just interesting that at the same time, I'm struggling in photography. I'm also struggling in my personal life, reconciling sort of the, the mundane uh, existence that ultimately is what being a dad is to a, a brand new, fresh babies. It's so much routine. You come home, feed them, you put them in the bath, you take them to bed, clean up the house, and then you go to bed. And then you start that over every single day. I just wasn't prepared. It was very challenging for me. and. My photography obviously just naturally shifted because I was doing less fun shit and doing less things that were quote unquote exciting. But I love photography and I'm obsessed with photography. It's all I think about. It's how I see the world. It's all I do. And so I wasn't about to stop making photos, you know? I did shut down my business. Obviously it happened during COVID and I just was like, not into social media, so I deleted my social media. Like now that I think of it, it was like this big, perfect storm where, you know, it was COVID, I had kids. Um, I didn't want to be on social media anymore because I felt like it was influencing my photography in a weird way. It all kind of happened at once and came to a head. And then from there, I kind of went into this world of like rediscovering photography. Going back to what made me fall in love with photography, which was really just about embracing whatever's in front of you. And whether that is Santa Lucia in Santiago or my kids 
jumping on the couch. It really just comes down to trying to find something interesting in the otherwise mundane existence that is my life. And so some of the lessons that I think uh, these different phases of photography has taught me is that if you're in this for the long haul, if you're gonna be here, you know, for a while, you need to sort of just embrace and come to terms with the fact that there's gonna be different phases in your photography because there's gonna be different phases in your life. You know, at some point in the future, my kids aren't gonna be two and four again. My photography will undoubtedly look different. I can already like envision in like five years being into like sport photography or my poor daughter, God bless her. Maybe I'll take pictures of her art or something like that. <laughs> There's all these kinds of phases that happen in your life and so also in your photography. The biggest lesson I think is just not to fight those phases and to just understand that things come and go and to try and just enjoy them as they are and find things about whatever your current existence is, um, find things to love about it. For me right now, that's dad photography, baby. You know, I've learned a lot of really great lessons being a dad photographer. You know, I've learned that presence might be the single most important thing in life, and that translates to photography. The reason I shoot mostly small cameras is because the present moment is kind of all I have right now, and it's what I latch onto, and whenever I'm with my children, the last thing I wanna do is disturb the present moment. But at the same time, I also wanna capture moments because I already know that I'm gonna be a puddle in 10 years when my kids don't wanna cuddle me anymore, etc. I already know that I'm gonna to wanna to look back at some of those moments and you know just appreciate that they happened. And so I have these small cameras like the Ricoh GR3, the Leica Q2M that don't really get in the way and that I can you know take a quick picture and then stop taking pictures and really just enjoy um, everything that's happening right in front of me. Had I never become a dad photographer, I never would have known that. I never would have learned that. If you have an open mind and you're open to letting life unfold and just kind of being a passenger to that, I think that you can learn a lot of really valuable lessons. I feel like all of the major things that have happened in my life, there's been a camera somewhere around. And for some reason, it feels like these moments are all tied to my photography journey. And I can pinpoint frames of time throughout this catalog of images where I can remember exactly how I was feeling during that time. I can kind of tie my life back to my photography. And it's really cool. Photography has very little to do with sharpness or resolution or pixels or even the end result. I think good photography teaches you about the skills that you're gonna need in life and the things that make you a better person. like empathy, curiosity, patience, presence, understanding, and then connection. I feel like these are all little qualities of photography that can be directly applied to real life. You don't improve by making good photos, you improve by making bad ones. Anyways, if you're feeling bored, um, just embrace it. <laughs>